Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now I'm here shooting video for my YouTube channel today, but what a lot of people don't realize is I'm actually a professionally trained photographer. Spent a lot of time shooting photos, you know, through my college years, through my 30s, into my 40s, just as a photographer, shooting a lot of weddings, different events, things like that. And so having the ability to print photos is not just fantastic for the professional but for the homeowner as well maybe you're into you know creating collages scrapbooks maybe you just want a good quality family album the ability to print photos not always the easiest in this day and age with digital photography it should be pretty simple you shouldn't have to go to get anything processed you should be able to do it here from home and so that's exactly what we are going to talk about today this here a printer from HP RT this little photo printer is pretty cool now this is not inkjet printing this is a thermal sublimation printer so a slightly different process inkjet printers are typically putting ink on top of the paper it's not terribly durable if you get them wet, if you get your prints wet or any sort of fingerprints, it really can show up. But here with the thermal printing, it should be a little more resilient to damage, a little more resilient to fingerprints and moisture, things like that. Because in this particular process, it is kind of layering your ink or your toner and the color between a sandwich layer, which leaves that layer of protection. A four by six printer, very small. And in today's case, I'm hoping it's going to have high quality. So in today's video, what we're going to do, we're going to go through this in detail. We're going to take a look at it from just opening the box, getting some impressions, getting some quality prints done, and seeing if this meets my professional standards. And so with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at HPRT who did provide this for review. So even though I typically cover outdoor gear on my channel, bottom line is if you're spending time outdoors, pretty good chance you're walking around with one of these, your cell phone. This for me is my general capture device. You know, I'm getting pictures of my family, pictures of my dog, pictures of my surroundings and my adventures. And while the ability to quickly and easily print those photos, this could be absolutely awesome. So again, a thermal sublimation printer. We're going to look at this in detail. This is definitely your sort of home use and general homeowner model, which could come into play for many, if not all of you. Now, the first thing I'm gonna say right away, nice and compact. So this is awesome. It's not gonna take up a ton of space on the desk. And you can see just as we work through the packaging here, not a ton to this. Now getting inside, this is going to be the accessories. So you can see simple power supply. So pretty basic. And then your ribbons and all of the sort of basic supplies that you're gonna to need to get started user's manual quick guide uh, some paper packs i'm sure here and the people at hprt also did provide me with some additional ribbons and then 108 sheets of paper so i'm kind of set up here just with a real basic kit to do a whole bunch of printing and again 108 sheets here four by six i can do a lot of good with this simple kit so again just getting the tester pack here, breaking this out of the package. We'll go through the setup, and then I'm hoping we're going to get some successful prints. So everything here coming nicely packaged, pretty straightforward, and not a whole heck of a lot to it. But when it comes down to this printer, again, look at this. Very, very compact. You can see, compared to my hand, it is basically the size of my hand. That's awesome. Breaking out the tray, you can see on top that sits down pretty easy. So we'll get into all the details here, but nice little tab on the side, opening up the drawer for your ribbon. Again, pretty simple. In the front here, opening up your little paper tray, power button. 
this has all of your sort of, you know, uh, information lights here. So your power light, your Wi-Fi light, and then as you're going through the different modes and menus, I'm sure that will flicker. Just moving your way around. A little bit of ventilation here. Uh, I'm sure you feed the paper through one side or another and your power source. Instructions here, very straightforward. Not a heck of a lot to it. And they are fully illustrated, so very simple to follow. A uh, few words, not a lot, but mostly, in essence, you end up with some you know, pretty straightforward and you know, reasonably laid out instructions. But I will go through all of this for you. So if you're somebody stumbling into this video, this should give you the instructions that you need. First thing is I'm basically running my power off my back wall here, so getting the power established there, that's nice opening up the front here so you can see just opening up that front tray this does again expose your power button holding that button down you can see the power light does come on but you are going to need an app so you're going to scan the qr code with your phone and you're going to install the hey photo app which for me i will be running android you can also run iphone once you install the app it will ask you to add a device at this point I'm turning on my Wi-Fi and my Bluetooth uh, just for the sake of the matter. It is asking me for my Bluetooth permissions, and so I will authorize that. And clicking on the CP4000. I'm actually technically looking for the CP4100, and I'm going to say connect. Now, I do have the option to connect to my printer directly or through a Wi-Fi hotspot. For me, I would prefer to go directly to the printer, which I think will be advantageous. So again, at this point, it is looking to authorize my location. I'm just going to authorize that for here. Um, it's asking about whether or not I want precise or approximate location. I guess it doesn't necessarily matter that much. Again, switching on my Wi-Fi it is going to bring up my Wi-Fi connections, and it is looking for this device. And there is one called Direct to the CP4100. Clicking on that and entering password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Connect. Hopefully that's going to be a generic password. And checking the quality of my internet connection. It looks like that is working. And yes, always connect. So at this point, it does appear to have worked. So again, the generic password of 12345678 did work for this device. And you can see I am now connected to my phone directly. Opening up the side, we're now going to load the cassette. So opening that up, that little side door. And you can see the cassette does have a couple of holes on one end. It's solid on the other. It really can only go in one way. So if you're paying attention, it really does only go in one direction. You can see that pops down into place. As we go to load the paper, here are the paper pack. So this is 10 sheets. They do advise not to load more than 18 at a time. So I did get two 10 packs. But as you take a look here with the tray, this does pull out. And you can see that kicks forward, so just like that. The paper does have a glossy side, and then you can see it says HPRT on the back side. And this door here, fully opening, so very straightforward. Just flop that right up. Dropping in my paper, so all 10 sheets. Closing the cover to the cassette. And at that point, that's all packed up and ready to go. Now this stores away nicely, fits right on top, very simple. That's just easy, but when you want to print, basically you're gonna take this side, pull it out, and fold that back. And at this point, this cassette can be loaded directly into the printer. Sliding this right and into place. This does go right down in the bottom. And it actually fits, not a firm click, but it does sort of click into place. You can feel it just kind of indexes there perfectly. So basically at this point, I am struggling to connect to the printer. I've gone through my photo. I've gone to the print settings at the photo in my sort of photo album app. 
uh, ultimately was able to add a printer and it is now searching for a wireless printer. It sees the CP4100, but it will not connect to it. So there may be a little more going on here that I have to figure out. So it might take you a little bit to get this configured, but let's see if I can get this thing going. So this appears like it wants to connect. It says you may need to approve this connection on your printer's front panel, but there is literally no way to do that. I believe if I was able to do that, I would be in business. Do I press the button? Do I press it twice? Long press turns it off. I mean, what exactly is going on here? I am now really required to run through the app and we'll see what happens here. So running this photo through the app, which I am not too thrilled about, uh, selecting this photo here, which if I click on it, please select. Yeah, what about it? Oh, there we go. One completed. Is it going to print? So yeah, it looks like I can pick uh, my one print here. Let's just say print and see what happens. Checking connection. Printer ready. Do you want to print now? Yes. Please do not pull out the photo paper or exit. And it looks like it is transmitting. So this is not perfect. And I'm not thrilled to have to run through the app. However, at least it does appear as though the printer is working. Can't tell exactly what's going on here. Seems to be grabbing a sheet of paper, feeding it through the printer at this point. Oh, is it still in the process? So sucks the piece of paper through to the back side. And now it's pulling it back to the front. According to this, it is now rendering yellow, which you can see on the sheet itself. Yes, rendering yellow. So that's the first pass backing the paper off this should be the magenta so adding a magenta pass here you can see how that app is operating so that's kind of cool and now pulling that back through this will be the cyan pass so again here is your cyan and you can see now it is really truly at this point a full color photo and then it looks like there is a finishing pass here which is probably a clear if I had to guess and looking at it here it says covering film so again yes that is the covering film that goes over the top of the image so again as I mentioned this will be a lot more durable than your typical inkjet print takes about a minute there for that print and kicking it out now, in terms of the quality, that is absolutely beautiful. That's a super nice quality photo there. So I am very happy with the quality of the print. And of course, that is straight off of my phone. You can hear the fan running, keeping this unit nice and cool. So running through the app, it did seem to work just fine. But a little more testing to go and then I'll wrap it up with my final thoughts going back to my uh, app here let's see what happens all right so grab a picture going through my photos got a cool picture of this bike um, grabbed it going to say complete at this point size everything looks right I'm going to say print hitting print checking do you want to print now okay Sending the photo to the printer, and if everything works, should come out nicely. So it says sended. So it sended the photo. You can see this firing up, and it is now going to go through that same process. So printing the passes yellow, magenta, cyan. And then finally, that clear pass on top to protect the image. And again, you can see very nice, high quality print. Now, right away, 
you can see this is fully protected it's not like you need to wait for it to dry that's nice you'll notice that there are these perforations on the side so you can tear these certainly out of the way now i'm going to use this exact image here for just a little bit of testing we're going to run it under the water we're going to see how this holds up and just generally how durable the image is just right away for the test i'm going to take a sharpie here scribble on the corner you can see the sharpie itself will smudge which tells me that that coating actually is doing a pretty nice job protecting the photo itself as i just get a little bit of uh moisture on there and try to rub that away little cloth here and literally all of the marker is gone so that protective film definitely doing a seemingly nice job uh, even against a permanent sharpie marker so i do have to say so far that coating definitely working nicely to preserve the image running this now under the sink a good amount of water there i mean that is just pouring all over this thing even on the back side give that a quick second but even with that very significant amount of water really only under the very corner if you can even see or i should say edges underneath the protective coating you can see it did leave a little bit of a line just from a bit of moisture but it greatly protected the image so very effective you can definitely you know see the quality in these images these are beautiful photos i mean right off my cell phone very simple vibrant i would say color accurate just really really super nice so to the people at hprt very nicely done so because this doesn't take up a whole lot of desk space, you can easily integrate this into your home office. It doesn't even need to be on your primary desk. I mean, at this point, I have this kind of up on a shelf in a nice spot. I have power that feeds right to the back. So in other words, you know, just having this set up here real easy off to the side. And then at that point, my ability just to print simple four by sixes, you know, family photos, things like that, all my little trip memories. This is going to be absolutely awesome. What a nice little printer. And so now breaking this down, basically at this point, removing the paper tray, folding it up, and literally just popping it right back on the top of the printer. Everything going together nicely so you can see. Very portable. That's what I really like about this. And the only thing that I can say is, well, the quality of the photos absolutely awesome this is extremely convenient i like it quite a bit with one big exception and that's the fact that i have to use pretty much like the proprietary app for printing which i don't like for two main reasons one it's another app to worry about and two i really don't want more apps accessing my photos and my personal things just let me connect to this wirelessly let me run through the actual you know photo app that is built into my phone. I already use that. That's to me, I don't know, maybe it doesn't have all the print settings you need and you need the drivers. I get all that stuff. I just really hate sort of adding additional apps and just security issues to what's already a complicated world. But in general, this photo printer, the CP4100, very, very good. So I do have to say to the people at HPRT, really, really nicely done, awesome product. I can definitely recommend this. Even with some of the shortfalls, definitely I can recommend this for the typical homeowner, someone who's looking for arts and crafts, the ability to print your family photos. And for me, just having a little bit of fun. Getting my dogs, I can bring these to work, put it on my little bulletin board, very, very cool. So to the people at HPRT, 
Thank you so much for providing this for review. For the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor. Take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, the channel is going quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you liked what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.